Hello, my friends, and welcome to a new episode of The Chest of Obscurity, and today we are looking at Crystal Project, which was sent to me by my friend, Forty Warrior. Now, oddly enough, um, I learned about this game through another friend of mine on YouTube, half blind gamer, otherwise known, to the populace, not that stuff. And on one of the previous videos that he's shown was this. Now, if you happen to like games that play out like Final Fantasy, well, you might like this one. However, if you feel like Do you just want to explore? You could do it here. Now, the one thing I've learned about this game is that if you put on anything out of the ordinary with this, it's, uh... It just will not keep it. So, I just basically say, you know what, no. So, you can have your own party set up. Like, of course, this is your warrior. This is your monk. This one look. Th this is a cleric? Okay. Um, let me see what this is. A monk, of course. Warrior. <clears throat> What's interesting is that if you were to change up your characters, like from male to female, they have different attributes, like um, max HP, healing power, and luck, or max MP, accuracy, evasion, and speed. Same thing to male to female. With with everything else. So we got a warrior, monk, rogue, otherwise known as a thief, cleric, which is the white mage, the wizard, which is the black mage, and the warlock, which is the red mage. A well red mage. So if you really want to just, you know, switch it up, you can switch it up, but... And I think we're good. We're not going to change anything, we're just going to leave it as is. So, we got three difficulties, of course. Easy, normal, and hard. Easy is for those who like a more laid-back experience where battles are not the priority. Enemies have less HP and deal damage to the party. Normal is for the standard experience for those who enjoy RPGs. Battle will be tough, but grinding should not be necessary. And for those who basically are idiots, I mean, who would like a challenge! Hard. It's for those who would like an even greater challenge. Battles will be very hard, grinding will be necessary, not recommended for first time players. Guess what? I've always been normal when it came to RPGs. But if they gave me a but if they gave me a toggle between easy and normal, I would start easy first then normal. If they gave me the option the open option to switch. 
But since I'm, well, you know, it's damn near fair for me to play something like this, um, normal's my jam. Normal's always gonna, my, always gonna be my jam. I seek adventure, but I don't seek to have it handed to me. Adventure is not about knowing what trouble will come, and now not knowing how to overcome them. The path is always clear, and the possibility of failure is absent. It really, it, is it really adventure at all? You know what? You can't make this shit up. This is deep. This is deep. This is deep. I'm making one for myself. Spawning metals. Hello, Bad Hat! It fills me with joy that you joined us in the field of Sequoia. I assume that you have come seeking adventure. Yes, I'm from Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, I. But naturally, you come to the right place. But you look positively famished, as if you're about to dry up and blow away. I invite you to come pay a visit to our lodge for a big helping of stew. There's nothing like a hearty bowl of stew for an empty stomach. All right, the lodge. Just follow this path until you're there. Can't miss it. Basically, do the following. You have a merger of Final Fantasy, Mystic Quest, and Dragon Quest Builders, all rolled in one. With a slight taste of Minecraft. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses along the way. You never know what you'll discover. your children differently. This is true. This is your first time seeing a flame. Flames are nothing to be afraid of. Gather your courage and approach it. One thing I do love about modern RPGs when they when they when they were coming up you basically had a counter of when you were going to level. And I prefer that over say, oh, you have to go to the you have to go to the town, find out where like older games like Fantasy Star, Final Fantasy, uh even Super Chinese did this. We must pause every now and then to take in the beauty which surrounds us. This here is no hill for a stepper. Press and hold the B button to jump a little higher. Phoenix juice. Be nice to the people on the way up as you will meet them on the way down. Why 
I like about this game is that it just has this vibe that reminds me of why I'm into RPGs. And like I said, just of obscure. Therefore, a game like this would be very obscure in this day and age. Because most people are into, you know, adventure games. But some people are into RPGs. Me, I'm I'm from the RPG category, you know. That's my that has always been my go-to. So you wonder why I always play RPGs. Well, that's very easy. Because RPGs have always been my go-to. That's the reason why, you know, most times on my channel, I play a lot of RPGs. Because RPGs have a wider spectrum than, say, adventure. You can hardly get bored from that, you know. You can hardly get bored from RPGs because, you know, not RP not all RPGs play the same. But they all have a different flavor to them. So anybody who feels like, oh, I don't know what what RPG, what kind of RPG is good to play, I'm like, no, you choose your own. It's truly, that's what it comes down to. You've got to learn to find, you know, what you're good at. Pick it! Level up. And you know, there are many, you know, many out there who just say, you know, uh, you should play... No, you should not play what the popular plays is popular. You gotta find your own language. So, oh, you can change your class if you want to. Set a home point. Templates, member order, or save. set one home point at a time. Your set home point is the place you'll return to after your saving quit. You'll, be safe. you'll also safely return to your home point after you and your, fr all your friends die. Death's nothing to be afraid of. Death comes knocking on my door each day. Death loves people my age. 
Death honestly gives no fucks for me, okay? He's just only doing his job. Man, it's just all Nans in here. Well, at least you never look. doing my due diligence by not looking, you know. I was about to say, I can't open this. Welcome to Old Nan's Lodge. Your first day is free. You can rest for night. I hope you have a nice time. I like the fact that they have they show the, the title of the songs as well as the composers. You don't really see that enough in video games. Tutorial spot from Final Fantasy. Five, I believe it was. Don't forget to learn new abilities. Learning abilities is the greatest means of getting stronger. You can spend your LP in the menu at any time you learn new abilities and passives. You earn LP for your current class at the end of battle. Why not? Aha, uh -huh, here you go. The map. Acquired spawning mouse. It's good to have a map on hand while exploring. You don't have one? Don't worry, sometimes the best adventures are had while exploring blind. And any area you see in a region while you don't have a map will be filled in automatically later when you do get the map. Another... Another fine thing that should be noted is like, you don't get... You should really get that, you know? It's like, if you're going through a new place wine and once you get the map oh that's something that should already be like oh you discovered this much okay we'll give you credit for it APR drilling points they build naturally during battle while without you having to pay a penny how pretty there are three main ways in which AP accumulates first when it becomes your turn second when you attack and third when you take damage AP will set back to zero after a battle, so be sure to spend it while you, when you earn it. After winning enough battles, you'll earn the experience you need to level up. If you level up, your attributes will increase based on your current class. Mage will get a bit better at magic, and fighters will get a bit better at fighting. Dumb threat has nothing permanent. If you don't like what class you leveled up as today, you'll just be able to adjust those choices later. So, just focus on your adventure for now, and you can't worry about those details another day. The only game I remember doing that, and it sort of made sense as to why, oddly enough, the magic of Shehazad. Because Shehazad was a quirky little game from Culture, culture Brain, and not many people actually remember Culture Brain. There are same people who did um, such titles as Hiru no Ken, I like on Flying Warriors, and Flying Dragon, the um, Secret Squad. Little Ninja Brothers, otherwise known as Kung Fu Heroes, or Super Chinese, as I mentioned before. As well as the aforementioned title, The Magic of Shiharas. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Indeed.
You can't control what others do, only your own reactions. You know, th there's one thing that RPD RPGs should really do, and they don't do it often enough. Those little tidbits. You know, how to be a good person. You know, little, little tidbits. Just go ahead and live the life you want to live, no matter what. And like I said, you know, that's one thing I do miss about old school RPGs. And Ease was really good in it. Especially like the third game, Wanderers. It had a message. Delende. I'm just taking it all in, and man. Because I remember when I had a larger, um, an iron sword. Was going to make an LP of Bravely Default. The good thing is, I only, I only managed to make two. Because for the rest of the time, I was grinding for the next couple of parts, which were going to be like at least, like at least th three or four parts. I was going to grind ahead of time. And, and, and oddly enough. I still got the save data. Because I managed to um, do the following, which was. Um, hey, I'm asking. Are you new here to the land of Sequoia? Looks like you just arrived, so what made you decide to come? Anyone who comes here is looking for something. So, what is it you're after? I'm interested. Well, I think you found the right place. Lots of folks can come, see, come here seeking adventure. Careful of some weirdos who might get on your case if you don't find crystals every now and then. Which reminds me, you should have this home point stone. I think you'll find it'll come in handy. Thank you. You use the home point stone as many times as you want, whenever you want to teleport back to your current home point. Don't forget that. Don't forget you have it and set, set it to your favorite menus while you're at it. I'm sure I'll see you around! Bye, Slack. 
I mean, it does remind me of Slick from Pop Fulton. A tonic. It's another game I plan to do sometime in the future. When I have the um, undubbed version of Pop Fulton. Sadly, the only thing I'm dub about it is that it's, it's just basically the Japanese version of Papa Mel, but with the working designs cast on it. That's the only thing. But that's okay. You know? Digging like for some time for a lot of these undubs. For those wondering why I called it undub, it's basically the original game with its original um, the game as it was before it was ported and patched over. Like there are plenty of games that were ported and patched over. For what it was worth, they only did because they were just trying to appease Western gamers. That's why it was poured over. Because, you know, acceptance. And you gotta remember back then, during the 80s and 90s, back when, you know, we had the console wars between. Nintendo and Sega, that's what it was all about. Money has always been the name of the game, but...
skills. You, you don't see enough of this happen at main games. I'm sorry, I just, I just took a... I was so engrossed in playing the game and learning this.
more sage for that matter. It is one of those games that, you know, it's like self-discovery in its own right. And this is one of those games why, I, you know, certain games I sort of get lost in the music. I don't really want to talk very often whenever I'm playing a game like this. I think that's why Beast has that effect on me to where I mostly immerse the music more than talking. Some games just have a profound effect on me. Hi again. My hobby's fishing. Not fish. Not fishing for fish stuff. Or what are you fishing for? I think the only game I just never really. because uh, the game was horrible. It was like, oh no, no, no. It was like, hit, jump. It was too puzzling. I think that's what it comes down to. When a game becomes too much of it, what it's supposed to be, it sort of loses its flavor real quick. Zubat. Zubat? Really? play an RPG. It just reminds me of that. Why I play them, it brings me a sort of a sense of peace. Every game that I had to play is like, oh, it's a let's play. Yeah. Oh, it's not a real let's play. It could be whatever I want. This could be a first look video for all I care, but I don't call it. This could be a, a, a review video, but I don't call it. Instead, call it what it really is, which is the chest of obscurity. Because 
there are some games that don't always have to be a Let's Play. But at the same time... Why should every game I play have to be a Let's Play? Think about that. You don't always have to be a Let's Play. Once upon a time I did do um, playthroughs, but this is a little, like, before I knew, oh, yeah, I can actually just talk about video. Basically, you know, the longer I play or get into a game, the more it's going to be. Just get into it. I have to remember, we're using... Mystic Quest physics right here. Platforming in an RPG. Middle Gear. What is this, Luffy? Jump. Wow. 
you know what's on I can't jump on? Really? You mean after all this time I cannot make a jump as simple as that? I need to turn into my gamer card if I can't do that. I can't do a simple jump. type of game if you know if you're if you're trying so hard to build something then don't in some way don't show the fact that you're building everything. Rostin. R Rostin. Oh, that is so good to know that if somebody dies, they can be brought back. <laughs> never did like about RPGs sometimes. Like when some people, you know, they die in combat, they lose the opportunity to gain experience. This game doesn't do that.
enough for the current regions, I don't know. I cannot see the current location. But this is good though. And like I said, you know, it's it's one of these games in which you can easily find yourself immersed in. And like I said about Minecraft, if I didn't say it before, I saw it like what it really is. It's a program. It's not really a game, it's more like a program. You're building something. I ran into a guy. Don't stress too much about min maxing your growth right now. There's an NPC later that can help you respect you here. Oh, thank God, because I, I do not like min maxing. <coughs> that's, one of my, that's one of my issues with some games. Oh, you have to min max. Why? Why do I have to do this? Last game that I didn't mind doing the next was um um Musashi. That was the last game I that ever did that, but it did it right. Minecraft. Just like with Gary's mod, it's not something you you, you see it as something to play with. But it's more like, oh, um, this is really a program. So that's how I always saw it, like, uh, Want me to do what? And I saw I saw it as like so. Who actually thought this was like you know fun? So to me, uh, this this is not fun. I'm just mostly confused as to what the hell am I supposed to do? It's okay for those who are into building, but once you start trending it like a game, I don't know, it's like, But where's the funny? I'm I'm generally curious. It's like it, I rather do this. Oh, I rather build. I'd rather, you know, build something, you know, Sim City style. I think that's why I enjoy, um... Um, Act Razor. 
Because if you knew your building, there were perks as to why you were building. You weren't building for a sake of just building. You know? I mean, for what it's worth, no, I didn't feel you know. I have nothing against, you know, building. But, you know, the thing is, when you build, you should know building something. Oh, hey, this is what you should do. Know what you're building. Now, I can say this. Minecraft is sort of Because, you know, it's more like it was a trend. That's all it was. So games like Act Racer? No, I didn't mind doing the world building aspect. World building, it, it's an okay thing. Just don't go too wild with that. And just forget, oh, hey, uh, no, this game, this part of the game exists. Respect the rest of the game, please. That's that's how I saw Final Fantasy VIII. It's like, respect the rest of the game, please. You know, don't just say, oh, you know, I'm just gonna play Triple Triad. That's all you're gonna do, play Triple Triad. Forget the rest of the game exists. You're an asshole. <laughs> well, that's the best part of the game. You made a... So that basically makes you an asshole. <laughs> This one was, um, Evil Land. And I feel like, you know what, I want to do something a little after what I already got planned. But at the same time, you know, I want to just play something different. And Evil Land Legendary Edition is something different. Plus, I can actually make fun of, you know, make fun of every little single game I've played in the past. And for what it's worth, guess what? I'm enjoying it. Like I said, whenever I play games like these, it just makes me...
go into thought, you know, why I played certain games, or why I enjoy games like these, when they're thought out, you know, and, you know, they aren't too hard, they aren't too difficult, I think that's what's wrong with gamers now, they want a game that's challenging, like, yeah, there's a challenge, but where's the fun in that, though? How about just playing a game for what it's worth, you know? Why does it always have to be, you know, for the, the trophies? Why does it have to be for the achievements? Why can't it just be for the sake of, you know, the enjoyment factor? Well, I like to stream it. No. I mean, does this every game have to be streamed? No. that's the reason why I took a break from streaming, because in that sense, I don't know, eh, you know, it's, it's kind of like, well, you want to make it a, you want to make it a business to stream, I'm like, yeah, I would consider it if, as a, if I could just basically sit here all day long playing a game that would take at least in real time for me I do it and should I get paid for it I don't want to be hindered in any way I want to be able to speak my mind the way I want to speak it that means if I want to be you know profane I can do that I got my right I have my rights to be as foul mouth as I want to be you must discover at least three crystals to prove yourself worthy of adventuring beyond this point. You have not, you have not yet discovered any crystals. You are not yet worthy. You go on and continue adventuring. Return after you found at least three crystals. Because you know that's why they call it Crystal Project. I got some jewelry or something, none of it's, none of it's frozen, none, none of it's stolen.
but when I'm playing a game like this, I do get just lost. And I apologize if I sin, if I tend to just basically just get quiet when I'm halfway in mid sentence. Like I said, sometimes when I have it, it becomes a game. disability that affects your mind more than your body. Not only is it tiring, but man. So I have to live with it every day. You don't. We'll put that into perspective. Mostly stressful. Most of the time because, oh, I wish I had this working out for me, but apparently it isn't. Again, can be helped because it is what it is. I have to live with it. You don't. I have to live with the stress. You don't. It plagues me every day. You know, when you die, you drop a bit of money. I should know. But you know something? If you die to a boss, you won't actually drop any. Or you know. Yep. I have not met a boss I haven't seen quite yet. I see myself doing as a, a vlog of sorts with But for now it's it's a chest obscurity video. Next time it'll probably be a vlog video. Because I don't have because one thing I do not have enough of is game that I can just personally meditate with, not by meditate with. This is one of these games, and I'm glad that one of my buddies from the RTO have sent me, and I can really enjoy this for 
course I have more. I have been sent. I know Vic sent me one, and I know Ryu sent me one. I, I know what he's in. That's just gonna be a full blown helmet. And that's Persona 4 Gold. I also have the original Persona 4, but. Play Golden is better. Only because it's basically Persona 4 DX. <laughs> if we're going to really call it that, let's just call it what it really is Persona 4 DX. And I, I'm looking forward to it. Probably won't do it the way I did with dude, Persona 3, but it is what it is. This will do for a great video. If you've not checked out this game, go check it out on Steam. It's Crystal Project. It does still on sale, but you know, if you need a game you can chill out with, I highly recommend chilling out with this one. Because I kind of see myself just playing it for a bit. And the music itself is so soothing. Even the rain, it's it's really just making me fall asleep. So <laughs> I'm going to stop here before I fall asleep on this video. So until next time, this was another fun episode of the Chess of Obscurity. So if you hadn't done so and you found this game or any of the games I've put up on my channel interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel, which is Izzy's Museum of Underrated Games. That's why I dub it. Under my username of Cookie Izzy7. And if you hadn't done so, My Twitch page, which is under the handle of BookieDizzy79. And follow me on Twitter under my handle, which is the same as my YouTube handle, BookieDizzy7. And I don't know if people follow me on Facebook, but it's BookieDizzy79. What happened to my old one? It got back. So there you go. Also, I do have a book it's called Legacy of the Seven Stars. So the Stars of Great Virtues. Book one of seven. I'm still working on the other six. You can find it on Amazon for $15. For a hardback. I believe it's uh, 10 for digital, for Kindle. I hadn't done this in a while, so hey, I gotta sell, I gotta make it sale. Okay. It's also on the Doors book site, that's where it came from. You can order it from there. And um, that's it. I think I made everything I need to say. And I need to do whatever I need to do. So as I said, Follow me, leave a message, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. Tell me what you want to see on the channel. Remember, I only do games that are not so well known and underappreciated. And I do have a backlog, so I will be still working on that backlog. So until next time of whatever I feel like doing. This was Crystal Project on Steam. I have been Izzy, and I'll see you next time for even more great content. So until then.
We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.